What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the home theater hobbyist. Today, I get to give you a review on something that I enjoy reviewing and that is chairs and specifically this chair that I'm sitting in. Um, chair reviews are so much fun because it, honestly, you just kind of sit down and relax and then just give me my thoughts. You know, <laughs> that's just so much fun. And um, while I was sitting here kind of doing my review, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should get into mattresses. Then I could like give people my thoughts after I've taken a nap. You know, that would be so much fun, you know? Oh boy, but anyways, I digress. So these are the Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Edition. They're from the Bespoke series from Valencia Theater Seating. And um, a few years ago, Valencia sent me their Tuscany 2.0s, which is from the Premier line. This is a step up from those. And actually, I wanna give a shout out and a thanks to Valencia because they did allow me to keep the Tuscany 2.0s. And so in this review, I'm going to talk about the Tuscany 2.0s and compare them to this Ultimate Luxury Edition, but also give you my thoughts on durability and the long-term survivability of this particular chair. But I also want to thank Valencia because they said I could keep the Ultimate Luxury Edition too. So thank you so much, Valencia, it's super cool. Now, that doesn't change how I feel, um, whether they sent them to me or if I had to send them back, if they told me, hey, you need to send those back, I will do it and it'll still be the same video. But just wanted to put that out there. Now, before I jump too far into this, I wanna say one thing. I'm going to talk about these chairs in this review, but if these chairs aren't what you're looking for, use those links in the description below because Valencia truly has our seating needs in mind. Whether you're into home theater or you have a nice two channel setup, you can find a chair that is going to work for you because I have the row of two configuration here, but they also sell single chairs. They sell a row of six, a row of five, love seats, multimedia chairs. They have all sorts of different configurations and styles at different price points. So for instance, maybe you're looking for a custom color to match the decor in your home theater or your favorite team's colors. Use one of those links in the description below. Maybe you prefer vegan leather over natural leather, which I have here. Use that link in the description below. Or you are tall, let's say over six feet. They have a big and tall series. Or you need a chair with a riser already built in. Um, they have that as well. They do offer white glove delivery, so they'll come in and they will set it up for you if necessary. So whatever you need, use those links in the description below. Okay, let's talk about the Ultimate Luxury Edition. As you can see, they sent me the row of two configuration in black, but it does come in a few other colors, including a burgundy, a cognac, a blue, or even a dark brown. So you can choose whatever color works for you. Now both chairs have a nice sturdy metal frame, and I believe it's the same legged and plaid reclining mechanisms as you'll find in the other Tuscanies. And like I said, it's nice and sturdy. Now both chairs are wrapped in leather, but this has a semi-aniline Italian Napa leather, and it is 20,000 series, whereas the Tuscany 2.0s has another Italian Napa leather, but it's 11,000 series. And I did ask Valencia about that, and they said that the series numbers, the 11,000 to 20,000, is their own internal numbering system. It's not like an international system or anything like that. But I did notice a couple of differences between the leathers. Both are nice and soft and smooth, but this has a matte black surface finish, with almost no grain. I really can't see any grain on it. Whereas the Tuscany 2.0s is still smooth and soft, but it's got just a little bit of sheen and you can see just a little bit of grain structure in the leather. So that's the main difference. They're both soft, but they just look just a little bit different. And this is wrapped in leather all the way around, including the back plate back there, which the Tuscany 2.0s don't have a back plate, this does. So that's different. But the main difference I found with this chair, as far as looks are concerned, is right here in the center. This nice premium perforated French diamond stitch pattern right here. It's got, you know, a dual stitch pattern here. And it just looks really, really good. It looks better than the Tuscany 2 was Nice and premium. And I believe these perforations actually offer just a little bit more breathability than the Tuscany 2.0. And that brings me to the comfort of these chairs. This leather is wrapping a nice foam inside these chairs. And so when you sit down, it's nice and soft and supple, to be honest with you. Um, I would say it's got a, sort of a medium comfort or medium softness because I can, 
you know, bounce up and down if I need to, but at the same time, it's not so soft that I feel like I'm going to fall through the floor or anything like that. And that's the same way with the back and even the headrest. It's nice and comfortable. And speaking of comfort, I did do the all important nap test with these chairs. And I have to say, when I woke up, I felt great. I wasn't sore. I didn't feel uncomfortable, but I was like, ooh, my back, no. It was great, it was totally great. Um, so from a nap standpoint, definitely give this two thumbs up. I had an enjoyable nap with these chairs. Now, let's talk about the actual use because there is a lot of features here. And this is similar to the Tuscany in the layout in that you have an accessory port up front followed by a cup holder. And as you can see, I've got a bottle of water in the cup holder. And these cup holders do come out like this so you can easily clean them if they get stained. And that's kind of nice. Um, but here is your armrest right here. It's nice and it's plush and it feels really good as far as comfort is concerned. Same sort of materials there. But underneath the armrest is storage and they go about 11 inches deep so you can really get a good bit of stuff in there including one of the accessories you can get with your chairs, a tray table. So you can take your tray table, put it in just like that, maybe grab your remote out of there and then boom, you're good to go on this side but you got another one, you got another accessory port. So on this side, you can pull out your tablet holder, which also doubles as a phone holder, and you can put your phone in there, but you can also keep your charging cable in there. And this has USB-C and USB-A ports, and this is a USB-C connection, so I can just plug that in like that, and then I'll just snake it under like this, plug in my phone, and all of a sudden, I've got my phone set up and I can sit here and use my phone. So for instance, if you have your two channel listening room and you're sitting in this chair with your two channel listening room and you're going through your playlist on your phone and you're choosing different songs and you've still got your nice command chair right here, your captain's chair right here, and you're just doing stuff while you're charging your phone, which is really cool. But this chair does include powered motor function for recline. So if you want to recline, you just hit this button right here and it begins to recline. And the cool thing is not only does it recline, but it also has lumbar support. So I'm going to use this chair over here. You push this button and hope, hopefully you can see that the lumbar support comes out and it gives you a lot of lumbar support. And I like that because for me personally, I actually enjoy just a little bit of lumbar support whenever I'm sitting down for my lower back. But the headrest is powered as well. So you can push this button and all of a sudden the headrest comes down on its own. And that helps, gotta pull it up a little bit, because when you're fully reclined, your head is still supported so you can see the TV. You're not looking up at the ceiling, you're actually able to look at the television. Now there's another button here that you just push and hold and that takes the chair back to its nominal configuration from wherever you were, which is really nice. But what they've done, which is an upgrade from the Premier Tuscany, which is they've actually added a memory function. And I am happy about that because when I reviewed the Tuscany, one of the things I said was it would be nice if they had a memory function. So they added that to this line. And so if I just push this button right here, I'm all of a sudden going to my preferred configuration for this chair. I've got head support, I've got back support, and my feet are up just like that. It's so nice and so fun. Now, speaking of these buttons down here, one of the features that the Tuscany 2.0 has is the buttons are backlit. But one of the things I requested again in that video was that they would make it dimmable because it was just a little bit bright when you're sitting, you know, watching a movie and you've got the light down here or over there in the other chair. Well, with this one, they addressed that there's no light here, which honestly I am in full agreement with because these buttons, they're on a little rocker panel, so it's actually pretty easy to sort of find your way just by feel without having a light. I like that a lot. And the fact that you have a memory button here so you can just instantly go to your favorite setting and then you just push the little H button and it takes you back home, right? So I don't have any issues with this not having a light and honestly, I think it is a plus that there's no lights on these buttons. But they did retain the light up function for the chair. So if you just hit that home button instantly, or excuse me, double click it, instantly the lights turn on. And as you see there, they all turn on for the chairs and you've got lights along the cup 
and along the bottom down there. And one of the things that they've done with these lights is instead of having a single blue light on the Tuscany 2.0s, they've got multiple colors. They've got seven different colors and you can set your light color as you please. You can just go through it and toggle it like that. And then you can just double click it and turn it off. So you still get the lights and you also get more colors. Now, one thing I will say about the lighting is when I'm watching movies, I don't have the lighting on because I do find it distracting because when you are reclined, the lights are under the chairs and they can shine onto your television or your projector screen. So I do turn them off personally, but that's just a little personal thing. Now, one reason why a lot of people don't consider recliners for their home theater or two channel setup is because their seating position is right up against the wall. And they're concerned that having a recliner, they won't be able to recline because they are too close to the wall. Well, Valencia has addressed that by creating a wall hugger design with this Tuscany line. And what that means is the seat bottom moves forward before the seat back begins to move backwards. So you can be much closer to a wall and still get a full recline. And I'm gonna show you that here. Now, right now I've got this chair about six inches from my wall up here up top. This is the closest point to the chair. And I'm going to do a full recline. So there you have it, a full recline. I can still get my fingers back there just a little bit. And I only started six inches from the wall. So as you can tell, these chairs have a ton of features. I mean, they are packed. They've basically answered everything that I wanted out of a chair, right? They've given us memory. They don't have the lights down here. Um, you've got a USB-C port, which is really nice because USB-C is just becoming a bigger thing, but it also has a USB-A port. Um, what are some of the things that I wish these chairs had? Um, massage feature, well, they actually offer a Tuscany that has a massage feature. It's not on this chair, but they do have a Tuscany with that. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, there's no active cooling on these chairs, but honestly, I haven't had any issues with like sweating and stuff like that, even though it's, you know, summer right now as I record this, but we also have air conditioning in this house. So that's never been an issue. So I, I can't, well, I guess there's one thing I would think I would say is I wish that the LEDs were a little bit dimmer. I wish you had a dimmer switch on the LEDs. They're just one brightness, they're different colors, but there's just one brightness, right? So that'd be cool. But I really don't have any other quote unquote feature request. So let's move on and let's talk about durability. As I said, I have the uh, Tuscany 2.0s and I've had them for about two years now. And me and my family, we have been using them as chairs. I mean, just using them as chairs, watching TV, you know, watching sports, enjoying time together, playing games, you know, just, just using them as chairs. My children, they're under 10. And so they come in and they sit in the chairs, they'll turn the lights on, they'll find their special position, you know, with the motors and stuff like that. And I have to say, the chairs have held up beautifully. They're basically brand new. I haven't done any leather conditioning or anything like that. I've all I've done really is just wipe the dust out of the corners and stuff like that. But they look brand new. The cushions are just as supportive, just as firm as they were when we first started. They're not sagging. There are no dents in the armrest or anything like that. And as far as the motors are concerned, they're working just as smoothly, just as fast, with no noise, just like when I started. And again, this is after two years of use, watching TV, I'm sitting in them to do you know, speaker reviews and stuff like that. So I don't have any issues or any concerns thinking that these aren't gonna be just as durable, if not so, because they have the same sturdy build with nice cushions and everything like that. So yeah, <laughs> they've done a great job with the durability of this line. Okay, so now let's talk about price. I haven't talked about that at all. But as I said earlier, the price depends on what style you choose, the configuration you choose. A row of six is going to cost more than a row of two, and that's going to cost more than a single chair, right? So depending on what accessories you buy and everything, that's how the price is going to be set up. Now, this configuration that I have right here in black, row two, is normally $8,000, but it's on special right now as I record this for $4,000. So if you want to purchase this, use that link in the description below. But if this is not in your budget, use a link in the description below because I'm going to have a lot of different options down there so you can just check them out and sort of find what works for you because I do recommend these chairs like I said they have a lot of great features they have held up under the use of a family for two years without any issue whatsoever so I don't have any concerns I should say 
um, that they won't hold up for you as well. And if they do, I'm sure the team there will take care of you. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give us a like, um, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And just thank you for watching. And I'm just going to sit down and enjoy some more content. Thank you.